Hello friends, welcome to yet another interesting video in which we are going to visually inspect image filters and kernels in image processing. This video is particularly going to be interesting for those who have seen the previous videos where we have studied the theory of image filters, how an image filter is rolled over the entire image to collect the information and um, you know, uh, it presents a different set of uh, image to us that is going to uh, show us one feature or the other of an image. Now, we are going to visually uh, see that in this video with the help of a few websites um, that facilitate the filtering of the image for experimental purposes. So the outline of this tutorial is going to be we're going to look at the popular uh, filter or kernel types then we are going to inspect a grayscale or a black and white image and then finally we are going to apply a filter and we'll visually inspect it now in order to do so um, you could see the Wikipedia page for kernel in image processing that shows you a whole gamut of filters that you can use on an image. For example, uh, an identity filter is going to look something like this. We know that a filter is nothing but a matrix with values in it. So it is a three by three matrix with, with a value of one in the center that makes it an identity filter then we have various edge detector filters so this could be a you know vertical edge detector filter and this could be uh, a horizontal edge detector filter and then we have sharpen filter something like this so a filter is going to be of course a matrix and with some predetermined values in it that those values are s selected such that it performs a desired operation on an image when it is rolled over the entire image now rolling over the entire image technically means uh, convolution which we've seen in the previous videos similarly you have box blur you have caution blur you have caution blur 5x5 five five and unsharp masking so this is a pretty good page to look at when you visually uh, want to inspect images so the effect of the filter is also shown here and another interesting page that I'd like to mention here is the gsnlib.org it, it also tells you a lot of filters with the matrices so we have identity filter binomial blur filter sharpening filter gradient x gradient y emboss so you, you would want to know or you would want to write down the values of these uh, matrices in into into a presentation if you wish to uh, collect information on different types of popular filters now once you do that we get to the second point of the topic which is inspecting a gray scale or a black and white, and white image for that uh, I've chosen yet another website which is setota.io I'm going to give the links of all the websites in the description section as well so this website is pretty interesting uh, it explains the image kernels visually so the first part here is to look at this image an image is made up of small boxes known as pixels so each pixel corresponds to a particular value so if you look at this pixel value this pixel value is 255 as you can see now the reason this is 255 is that it, it has a uh, high brightness level so every pixel in this image uh, 
contains a number which varies between 0 and 255 and if you look at a, a black pixel that will have a very small value right so all these black pixels have smaller values these white pixels have larger values so on and so forth so so what we need to do now here is we need to select a filter and we'll start rolling that filter over from one side of the image we normally start it from the top left hand corner and we move it uh, in the right direction then we you know shift it downwards and then we you know cover the entire image and now for example we uh, we want to apply a 3x3 three three sharpen uh, filter or kernel to the image on the face above so this is how a, a sh uh, sharpening filter will look like so we'll take this matrix we'll place it superimpose it on top of this image and we start the process of convolution which is something like this so you can see if I place this matrix here on the top left corner now each of these pixel values are being multiplied by the uh, the values of the matrix for example if you look at this part so uh, the this is the pixel value in the box and this is the uh, matrix value so all of these are getting multiplied and then they are further added to get us a final value so I'll again place this here now if you look at the calculation so my first pixel had a value of 206 then it was 205 the next pixel was bright enough to have a value of 247 and all of them were getting multiplied by 0 minus 1 and 0 respectively so and uh, together they were added and they formed a sum of 65 which was you know placed here this is placed here right so whatever was being calculated from the convolution of this filter by placing this filter here comes at the top left uh, corner uh, or over here the resultant gets sta stored here so um, if you move the filter to a random position for example if you move the filter here that will give me the the convolved value of 53 and we need to put that convolved value of 53 here on the right hand side image which is a sharpened image so as to say so this is the output image this is the input image now you can select your own image also you can uh, you know choose a file I've chosen this file this is my own file so if I want to blur this image you know so I can select the values here by the amount of blur that I wish to put so I can do that so this is my custom value and I can select another emboss filter so emboss filter will make my image look something like this so if I want to increase the value of emboss so I can do that so you could you know fiddle around with the values of the filter and see how does it affect your actual image so a sharpen filter with these values so how the intensities are getting affected by changing the value here uh, we know that this this calculation will lead to the formation of the resultant pixel which will have some intensity depending upon the magnitude of this value so that is how you can visualize uh, 
various filters which are given on this website and and you could check more of these filters in photoshop or but photoshop will not actually give you a visual idea as to how a matrix is rolled over and how the resultant pixel value is calculated because uh, this is the resultant pixel value 112 and it is calculated courtesy uh, the multiplication of the pixel values of the input image with the pixel uh, with the matrix value of the filter image now that mathematics has already been covered in the previous tutorial but i hope this visual inspection of the filters on images uh, was interesting enough to better understand the concepts and i hope this quick tutorial was of help and i hope to see you around thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned bye bye